I didn't watch the game at all while it was on. I went back and watched some of the highlights. I watched Travis Kelsey screaming at that poor elderly man. I watched the Black National Anthem, or at least part of it. And I watched some of the ads. And there was one ad above all that was extremely controversial. And it elicited the most anger, the most loathing, the most rending and gnashing of teeth. It was an ad from a group called He Gets Us that was, well, I'll just let you see it. You form your own conclusions. Now, for those who cannot see it, (laughs) I will describe it. It's an image of a man washing another man's feet. Then it's an image of a cop washing a a black guy's feet in an alley. Then of a normal-looking white lady washing another kind of crazy-haired white lady's feet. Then of a white guy washing an Indian's feet. Then of a lady washing a gal's feet outside an abortion clinic. Then of a, a daughter and a mother washing feet. And then some white guy and an Indian lady. And then a white lady and a vaguely Hispanic lady, and then of a white lady and a Muslim-looking lady washing her feet, then of a black lady washing a Hispanic lady's feet, and then of a white guy and a black guy sitting on a porch, both washing their feet together, and then of some kind of minister, maybe a priest, maybe just a Protestant minister washing the feet of an obviously gay guy, then it says, Jesus didn't teach hate, he washed feet. He gets us, all of us, Jesus. He gets us.com slash love your neighbor. I think I am the only conservative Christian in America who did not totally despise this ad. I know what you're thinking. You see this ad, especially if you're a Christian, and you say, oh no, they're promoting hippie Jesus. We all know this. We talk to our liberal relatives or some live in our school or in our workplace, and they have never read the Bible, they don't go to church, they don't pray, but they have this idea of hippie socialist Jesus in their heads, and they they think that you're a hypocrite, and you don't know your own faith, and they say, well, do you know, actually, Jesus was a big hippie, and he would have voted for Democrats, and he loves lib stuff, and if you're a real Christian, you'll support killing babies and opening borders, and I know, I know all of that. And those people look at this ad and they say, this ad is vaguely sort of not directly, not explicitly, but kind of promoting that vision of Jesus. And that's bad. Okay. I didn't totally hate this ad because it's in woke ease, because it's written in this woke language, because the symbols and the signs and the whole language of the ad is for secular liberals. The ad is not for you. The ad is not for me. The ad is not for conservatives or Christians or conservative Christians. The ad is for secular liberals. And there is a risk to an ad like this. I didn't see anything in the ad that was explicitly heretical, necessarily. The closest it gets is that image of the abortion clinic and the woman washing the gal who maybe she's just had an abortion, maybe she's going to have an abortion, she's washing her feet, and there are the picketers in the background. But the the demonstrators outside the abortion clinic, they don't look angry. They don't look cruel. It's They're not exactly the liberal caricature of abortion protesters. They look a little apathetic, maybe. They're not, they're not paying attention to the woman having her feet washed, but they're not angry. They're not screaming. They don't have torches. They're just sort of in the background there. And it says, Jesus didn't teach hate. So the, the conclusion that a lot of Christians are drawing is, well, the ad is insinuating that, that if you protest abortion, you're hateful. The, the ad is insinuating that if you uh, object to LGBT LMNOP style stuff, that you're hateful. I'm not certain that that's what the ad is saying. I think the ad is reaching out to secular liberals who are have an aversion to Christianity and to Jesus and to faith and is trying to speak their language. And if that's all it does, I'm not totally opposed to it. And we'll get to my evidence that I'm right about this in just a second. First though, right now go to genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. Whether you have three minutes in the morning or 30 minutes, you can keep your face wrinkle-free with Genucell. Not sure which product is for you? A great place to start is their Gen 90, the new instant wrinkle treatment from Genucell. Gen 90 instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles anywhere you use it, and it starts working in seconds. You will never worry about your skin or your confidence again. Genucell's technology is luxurious, nourishing, and silky smooth. Also, make sure to try Genucell's XV, a collagen-building moisturizer with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, 
in a pure natural base for stunning results day after day. Right now, Gen 90 and XV are included in their bestseller package on sale now. Order right now at JNUSL.com slash KnowlesYT, letter Y, letter T. Our listeners will also get a free beauty box, a deep firming serum, and free shipping on all orders while supplies last. That is genucel.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. You know I love this company. The owner is a Coptic Christian from Egypt who came to America for the American dream. They use only the very top quality ingredients in the entire market. Go to genucel.com slash Knowles, YT. Your orange-haired lesbian cousin who hates her dad is not going to read the Summa Theologiae set that you did not buy her, okay? Even if you did buy her one, she's not going to read it, okay? So if if an ad can get some secular liberal, and that's who these ads are for, for even one second to even consider our Lord, to, to even maybe have some slight increase in affection for our Lord, I'm fine with it. You know, Joey Carrion, uh, when I made this point on Twitter, uh, Joey Carrion responded to me and he said, you know, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 is a good evidence of this. St. Paul writes, for whereas I was free to all, I made myself the servant of all that I might gain the more. And I became to the Jews a Jew that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law as if I were under the law, whereas myself was not under the law, that I might gain them that were under the law. To them that were without the law, as if I were without the law, whereas I was not without the law of God, but was in the law of Christ, that I might gain them that were without the law. To the weak I became weak, that I might gain the weak. I became all things to all men, that I might save all, and I do all things for the gospel's sake, that I may be made partaker thereof. From what I can gather about this ad that he gets us thing, it's funded by right-wing evangelicals. It's not totally clear, but it sort of seems like that. And probably those right-wing evangelicals have the same thought that St. Paul does. I'm not saying it's a good idea. This is not the kind of evangelism that necessarily is my style. But the idea behind it, the idea that you got to speak people's language, when they don't speak your language, you got to speak their language. When you want to go evangelize the Chinese, you got to speak Mandarin. You can't go and speak English most of the time. Maybe now you can, because the Chinese all learn English in school, because they have much better education systems than we do in most cases. But when you want to go speak to someone, you got to speak their language. Okay? And even the abortion, the most controversial part of the ad, the, the abortion clinic, I think it serves a decent purpose. Would I have changed the image a little? Maybe I would have. But it serves a decent purpose. A lot of people allow their own personal sins to be an obstacle to acknowledging the truth before them. They'll know the truth. They'll know it's wrong to murder babies. But if they've had an abortion in the past, they'll say, well, I, if I admit this truth that I know, then I'm a murderer and I can't bear that and I can't live with that. So you, ha- you, you have to make clear to them. You have to give them an off-ramp. You have to make clear to them, no, 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 it, there is redemption for you. It's not all over. You, you actually, ha- but in order to have that redemption, you have to acknowledge the truth. And the truth is that abortion is murdering a baby. A lot of people do this, especially when it comes to sexual sins, because sex is so close to our nature. They'll do it. You've got to give them an off-ramp. You have to it's not to say we excuse your behavior, go kill more babies, go do more weird sex stuff. But it is to say, this isn't the end of your life. It's all right. It's okay. You've been doing bad stuff. Just cut it out. Just cut it out and you'll be okay. Acknowledge the truth. Follow the truth. I th- I, look, I'm not saying it's the greatest ad ever. It certainly is not. If it's a starting place, though, for even one lost lib to turn toward the truth and toward God, I'm okay with it. Now, there was a better religious ad, which was the Hallow ad, the great... Hello app, which sponsors this show. Take it away. God, we take this moment just to give you thanks. We thank you for this time to come together as a family, as friends, and as a country. Help us, Lord, especially this Lent, to grow closer to you. Amen. Join us in prayer this Lent on Hello. Stay prayed up. Love that ad. I don't have very much to say about it other than it was really great. And look, that's that's the next step. I'm, I don't know that that ad is going to speak directly to your orange-haired lesbian cousin who hates her father, <laughs> who is, you know, getting all sort of like satanic tattoos on her or whatever. Probably you need a different approach for that person. But the person who's already vaguely open to God, that ad is going to speak to. And I just think you got to try to get everybody, you know, to, to quote St. Paul, To the Jew, become a Jew. To those under the law, be under the law. To those without the law, be without the law. To the weak, become weak. Be all things to all men, 
for the gospel's sake. Oh, that's fine by me. Man, what a great clip that was, huh? It was good. It was good. I know. You got to ring that bell and subscribe, and then you get all the clips. See you next time.